morning. So I'm sitting here with my calendar that I love. I love this new system. Uh, well, it's actually not really new. I've been doing it since January and I taught you guys it in January, but sticking it out still for the whole year. Um, <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about calendars because there is a training and if you haven't seen the training on it, just ask um, or go check out my YouTube channel. It's on there. But so I want to just kind of like talk about a few things. So what I've noticed in my business, which is why I love calendars, is that like, I'm like, hmm, it's many. I haven't been sponsoring as many as you would like. Like minimum is six for you a month because, and that really should be the minimum for everybody. I don't really like the five, three um, because three presenters a month, well, three presenters a month are falling off. So really you're only just maintaining, you're not growing. Um, so anyways, I was like, okay, well, why is that? And I'm like, well, I know full well why it is. So let's fix it and let's fix it on the calendar. And so I'm going to plan accordingly. And so now I have written down on Facebook. I ask five a day. I'm just going to start with five. And then on Instagram, I actually do 10 a day because Instagram is easier. <laughs> it's easier to message people on Instagram. Um, for myself at least. And then I also have alternating days for the rest of the month that I post about the opportunity. So I have on the first opportunity, an opportunity post on the third, an opportunity post on the fifth, an opportunity post. Um, and once I get that foundation down, which I do, then I start writing down what the post will be about. And that way, this is why I love a calendar and that way it becomes a story. Instead of just like, oh, I got to do a post. I'm going to write something random. And then it doesn't really flow with what you put yesterday. And it just doesn't connect. And so I have them laid out so that they flow and that they tell a story. Um, and a story about my journey. And hopefully that can help people. And sharing my story and all of that. And then I am like, okay, last month I had an opportunity event written down and I didn't do it. So I'm going to put it again, right? Like we don't fail in this business. We just go, okay, this is where I fell short. This is where I can pick it back up. Like that's all this business is. So, um, so then on the 10th, I'm going to start posting about my event and I'm going to lean in on the pain points and then on the solutions. And then I have about one, two, three four days, well, like three and a half days until my event starts on the 13th. And so I have those posts planned out. And then I go, okay, I have an opportunity event from the 13th, 14th, 15th, and it ends on the 16th. So now I need, what do I need for that, right? I need like a video a day, maybe a post a day and just keep it really simple. So then I need to go back to my other days in my calendar and write out when I'm gonna do those videos. So say on, so I can look at a day where I'm like, you know what, I don't have a lot going on that day and it's usually Sundays. Um, and I'm like, I know I'll have my makeup done. I go to church in the morning, so I'll definitely have my makeup done the rest of the day. So I can do about like two opportunity videos. So I'm gonna write that down. Videos for event. And then when I have that down, I'm gonna go into my notes section on my phone and actually plan out the content, I'm gonna write the posts, I'm gonna do all of that. And then, so this is just for opportunity, I do this with like everything, I do this with my focus products too. And then I go through what am I gonna do for my team that month? And then I just, I plan it all, I do it, and I review it. Did it work, did it not work? Did I actually follow through? If I didn't, what can I do better next month? How can I hold myself accountable better? How can I, like it's just, not many people are willing to do that because they think, oh I failed so I must suck. And it's like, no, this is just, that was a practice round. It was just a practice round. Um, but now I, I'm going to count up how many opportunity posts I need to do. Write that number down at the bottom of my calendar and say, okay, this is how many I need to do. You know what? I can plan them all pretty quickly. I can go in the notes section of my phone, label it opportunity, and plan it all out. Write, like, actually write them down. Um... Be and then I'm more intentional with my picture, so it's not always stop it. <laughs> like, yes, I, I like we say, use your face, use your face, use your face, but then it kind of got to the point where it's like, okay, it's a little too much of your face. 
<laughs> just be you, okay? Um, but yeah, then I can actually plan and say, okay, now I have like 15 opportunity posts that are already done. And you know what all I gotta do in the morning is copy and paste. So it's really just being a friend to yourself for the month and making sure that you follow through because it's already done, right? So now all I will have to do is copy and paste and then I can focus on the other things on my list. So that just like crosses off one thing and then I've planned it out. I've written it down. I know exactly what I'm saying and then I can just easily copy and paste and post, right? And then I'll have my opportunity event and so a few days ahead of that, I need to start getting that ready. And so I'm gonna write that down. On this day, I need to get this event ready. And then on this day, I need to follow up with those people that were in the event. Does that make sense? So it's really just planning instead of just, oh, you know, I was really busy today, so I couldn't get to my business. That's fine if this is just a hobby. For me, this is not a hobby. This will never be a hobby. I am here for life and I'm gonna make the best of it right? Because I realize how huge of an opportunity this is that I'm not going to let it go to just be a hobby. Um, and I'm saying that's totally fine if that's what like, well, if it's a hobby, you're probably not in this group. So it's whatever. Um, so yeah, I highly suggest getting a calendar and writing out your month. What does it look like? Then you can easily see what days you're like, you know what? I'm lacking here. Like, the last two weeks, I don't know if you can see, the last two weeks, I don't really have anything written in there except for my dailies and my non-negotiables. Negotiable? Negotiables? <laughs> um, because it's going to be Black Friday. I don't really know what Unique has planned or what days they're going to start it. Usually it's like a week and I'm like, what week is it? Because Black Friday is on the 29th and then they have Cyber Monday, but then that's like December. So I don't really know. So that's why I left it blank. And so normally I would plan out my entire calendar, but I do have opportunity posts for the entire calendar, except for the last week. Cause I'm like, we're, we're talking Black Friday here by opportunity for one week, it's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna get my email list. And so what I have, write two emails on the first, don't send them out, write them so that they're prepared and done. Um, and then on the fourth, I send out, I, I set up the emails to send out on specific days so that I don't have to worry about it. And then on the sixth, so the, on the fourth, I send out email one, on the sixth, I send out email two, and then I don't send them any emails until Black Friday. Um, and then I have my affiliates written down. And so I know I need 10 affiliates on Tuesdays. So what does that mean I'm doing on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? I'm getting affiliates. Um, so yeah, I just, I really highly suggest planning out your month so that you're not giving yourself a headache. You're being a friend to yourself and you're actually running a business instead of just a, oh, I just post on Facebook. And it's like, yeah, your posts aren't really all that good. And so you should really try and plan them out. <laughs> I'm brutally honest only because I want everybody to succeed. I know everybody won't and that's their own personal choice and that's something that I'm personally dealing with and I struggle with because I'm like, but why? This is so simple. Um, but yeah, so if you want help with your calendar, I really ask you first to watch the video before messaging me about helping you with your calendar because I'm like, I literally give it all in this video. Um, so I don't wanna waste your time, but go check out that video, it's on my page. If you type in, I think it's Savannah Brightcrates. Try Savannah Lahoda. Maybe it's Savannah Brightcrates. I don't know. You'll find it. 